Hello, hello, grade 12s. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at organic reactions, the type of reactions, and their conditions. And with all that being said, let's get right down to the lesson. Ra. Now we have substitution reactions. This is when compounds with single bonds, your alcohols, alkanes, or haloalkanes, form compounds with single bonds from a different homologous series. Now, the first type of substitution reaction is halogenation. This is when we take an alkane and we turn it to a haloalkane. As we can see from the example, we have an, our alkane here, the methane, and we are reacting it with two atoms of bromine, right? So now what will happen? The hydrogen will be substituted by the bromine atom. So this hydrogen, when it comes out here, it reacts with the remaining bromine here to give us our byproduct hydrogen bromide. And the product that is being formed here is bromomethane. Now, the reaction condition for this reaction is we need heat or sunlight or UV light. Now, the second type of substitution reaction is hydrolysis. This is when we take a halo alkane and we turn it to alcohol. As we can see here, we have our haloalkane to bromobutane, right? And we are reacting it with water. Now, what will happen here is we will replace the bromine with what? With the hydroxyl group. Substitute the bromine with the hydroxyl group, OH. Now, this bromine will react with the remaining hydrogen atom here to give us our byproduct hydrogen bromide now the product that is being formed here is butan to all now the reaction conditions for this reaction is excess water and mild heat now we have we, we have another hydrolysis but this time in instead of reacting it with water we are reacting it with sodium hydroxide now the same thing also happens we take the Br and we substitute it with the OH, right? So in the place of the bromine, we have our hydroxyl group. Now the bromine this time will react with the sodium to give us our byproduct sodium bromide. Now the reaction conditions are we need dilute strong base, either your sodium hydroxide, your potassium hydroxide, or lithium hydroxide. So the point here is when we react it with this dilute strong basis, we need this OH, right? And another reaction condition is that we need mild heat. Now, the last type of substitution reaction is halogenation. But this time, we are taking alcohol and we are turning, we are turning it to haloalkane. So as you can see here, we have our alcohol, which is the ethanol, and then we are reacting it with hydrogen bromine. Now, what happens here is the OH will be substituted by the bromine atom, right? So in the place of OH, we now have our bromine, and this OH will react with the hydrogen that is left here to give us our inorganic byproduct, which is water, H2O. The reaction condition for this reaction is we need heat. Now let's look at addition reactions. This is when compounds with double bonds, your alkenes, form compounds with single bonds, either your alcohols, alkanes, or haloalkanes. Now the first type of addition reaction is hydration. And from the word we can get that hydration is us adding water remember to hydrate is to add water or to put in water so now we have our alkene and we are reacting it with water h2o now remember what will happen here according to mechanical rule it's we are required to have this oh whereby we have the least number of hydrogen atoms so this oh will always bond to the carbon with the least number of hydrogen atoms and the hydrogen atom will bond to the carbon with more number of hydrogen atoms. 
So that's what Makhanikov rule states. So using Makhanikov rule, the product that we're going to have is this one, right? Whereby the OH is on the second carbon, right? And the hydrogen, the remaining hydrogen is on the first carbon. So the product that is being formed here is propane to all and not this one. Now the reaction condition for this reaction is we need excess water and a small amount of acid. The acid can either be sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid to act as a catalyst so that it speeds up the chemical reaction. Now the second type of addition reaction is halogenation. From the name we can tell that here we are adding a halogen, right? So let's check here. We have an alkene and we are adding two atoms of halogens, right? Two atoms of chlorine. So what will happen here? The double bond will break to allow in the chlorine atoms. So now we have one, two, dichloroethane, right? Then the reaction condition for this one is we need an unreactive solvent. The third type of uh, addition reaction is hydrohalogenation. Again, from the name, we can tell that we are adding a hydrogen and a halogen. So now we have an alkene, but this time we are reacting it with hydrogen bromide, right? So now what will happen? Makhanikov rule again. The Br, the bromine, will attach or bond to the carbon with the least number of hydrogens. And this hydrogen that is here will bond to the carbon with more number of hydrogens. So the product that we form here is 2-bromopropane, right? So the reaction condition is no water and we also need an unreactive solvent. Now the last, the last type of um, addition reaction is hydrogenation. Also from the name, we can get that now we are adding what? A hydrogen, right? So we have this alkene, double bond, and we are reacting it with two atoms of hydrogen. Now this double bond will break to allow in the hydrogen atoms, and now we have our ethane changing to ethane, and the reaction condition for this reaction is we need platinum, palladium, or nickel to act as a catalyst so as to speed up the chemical reaction. And now we have elimination reactions. This is when compounds with single bonds, alcohols, alkanes, or haloalkanes form compounds with double bonds. Now the first type of elimination that we have is dehydrohalogenation, which we can get from the name that we are now eliminating a hydrogen and a halogen. So here we are given a haloalkane, this is 2-bromobutane, and it reacts with sodium hydroxide, which facilitates the elimination reaction. Now what are we going to do here? We're gonna come to this carbon and eliminate the bromine. Then come to the next carbon and eliminate the hydrogen. Remember, you cannot take the hydrogen and the bromine from one carbon. If you take the bromine here, you need to go to the other carbon and take out the hydrogen. Now, this two, the bromine and the hydrogen, will react with sodium hydroxide here. The Br reacts with sodium to give us a byproduct, sodium bromide. And the H reacts with OH to give us the byproduct, water. Now, this is the product that forms here. The reaction conditions for this reaction is we need concentrated strong base, which can be your sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, or lithium hydroxide. But this basis need to be in ethanol. Then another reaction condition is we need heat. Now the second type of elimination is thermal cracking which here basically it is, it is taking long chains of alkanes and turning them to short chains of alkanes plus an alkene. Now the reaction condition that we need for this one is heat 
and high pressure. We have another type of cracking, which is catalytic cracking. Also, again, we take long chains of alkanes and we break it down to short chains of alkane plus an alkene, right? Now, the reaction condition that we need for this one is the catalyst, the alumina or silica, and we also need heat. So the only difference with this two is that for the thermal cracking, we only need heat and high pressure. But for the catalytic cracking, we need the catalyst to facilitate the chemical reaction, speed up the chemical reaction, and we also need heat. Now, the fourth type of elimination is dehydration, which from the name we can get that we are now extracting water. We are taking out water. To dehydrate is to take out water. Now, we're going to have this alcohol, and then from this carbon here, take out the OH. From this carbon here, take out the hydrogen atom. Now, the OH and the H, when they react, they give us our byproduct, which is water. Now, what will happen between the two carbon atoms? They will form a double bond here. So you have your double bond like that. That's your major product according to Makarnikov's rule. And then the reaction conditions that we need here is dehydrating agent, which can be your sulfuric acid or your phosphoric acid. And we also need heat. Now, the last type of elimination reaction is dehydrogenation. Also, from the way we can get that now we are extracting out the hydrogen atoms, right? So, we have this straight chain alkane here. And then, we are reacting it under the conditions, um, the catalyst, platinum. And then, it, we extract out the hydrogen atoms here, two of the hydrogen atoms so that we can form a double bond. Now we have the last type of reaction, which is esterification. Esterification is not substitution, is not addition, is not elimination. It is a reaction on its own. This is a reaction of alcohols and carboxylic acids. We call it esterification. Now, you will remember that I did a full-on video on this one where I speak specifically of the esterification, the synthesis of esterification, and all the reaction conditions. But here, let's have a look. We have um, the alcohol here with the OH, and we have the carboxylic acid we can see with this carboxyl group. Now, remember what we said. We say we take out the hydrogen atom from the alcohol, and we take out the OH from the carboxylic acid. Now, the hydrogen and the OH react to give us our byproduct water. Then we have our ester forming here, right? Then the reaction conditions is we need concentrated sulfuric acid to act as a catalyst, speed up the chemical reaction, and we also need heat. So make sure to go out and check that video on esterification. Now, a quick way to remember organic reactions is this. Now we have SSS, which simply states that if we have saturated compounds moving to saturated compound, this is substitution. So this is single bond to single bond. A compound, compounds with single bonds form another compound, another compound with a single bond. Then we have USA, which is unsaturated to saturated is addition. So if we have a compound with a double bond, it forms a compound with a single bond, right? Then the last one is SUE, which is saturated to unsaturated is elimination. So here we have compounds with single bonds forming compounds with double bonds, right? So SSS, USA, and SUE. All the best grades of. That's it for this lesson. Rah.